Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I am just recording another Lego video, because I didn't just make it, but I made it like, like a few hours ago. For me it's night time, because I live in Canada. But, yeah, so um... And I have four days off of school, so I might be able to pump out a few more videos this weekend. But, so, um, I've made some new Spider-Man stuff, well, from the Amazing Spider-Man 2, so, I'm sorry if you can't hear me that good. Dad trying to sleep, so I don't want to be too loud. But um, let's just start with the boring one, and that is Spider Man. I am. Wait, hold on. Don't focus. Focus. Um, Spider-Man, I'm using the outdated one. Um, because this is the only Spider-Man minifigure I have left. And, by the way, I might make another video tomorrow. Because I made more into the Spider Boss stuff. And I updated that feel B Parker, which is rubbish. But um yeah, so this guy is just the outdated Spider Man with no arm printing. But I gave him that gray shame, which I got mine in the Spider Jet, which is where I also got my Venom minifigure, and Spider-Noir. So, that one's out of the way, but remember when I said this is a Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video, if you even heard me? Well, let's just show you the minifigure, and then the build. Because it's not accurate, I still need to work on the helmet for the mech. But, here's Rhino, so you already tell what's next. So, for this guy, I'm using Hercules's, wait, hold on, it doesn't want to focus. Okay, well... Um, I'm using Hercules' head from the Lego Disney minifigure series. And I'm also using the arms from him, because not only does it match the head, but it also has, like, cuffs, so that's uh, some extra detail. And then you got your, the aim soldier torso, which comes in a lot of sets, and just some gray pants, which I don't know, I got them off the Klatari minifigures. But yeah, so that's the custom rhino. And then, I was so proud of this. It's using, I had this, um, end game war machine buster. And it was all scraps, I didn't, and sadly I couldn't even find my, the war machine that came with it, so I couldn't, like, give him a good body, but, um, so, this is my first, like, big build, so, um, please, it's not accurate, I'm still working on helmet, and even with that, not going to be fully accurate because 
I just don't have the pieces. But here is my Rhino Mech. So, this guy is using a bunch of pieces. So, as I said, it's using the War Machine Buster body. So, you can move these things, these, and then open up that. Take the Rhino. And just. Lop. And then you just fold it up again. Bam. And then I got the giant mini gun. And then heal. I made this arm piece, which I'm using for both sides, and the Captain America mech hand, with instead of having those red clip-on pieces, I'm using these like, bented gray ones for the fingers, because I just think they look better. The Thor mech chest piece, some shoulder things, which I think actually come from the War Machine Buster. Same with this hand, but except I have a clip-on piece there. And not there. And I'll show you why that in a second. And then I also have this gun arm attachment. And it's using the base for Thor's hammer. And yeah, it has some bow joints so it can move. And I think it's pretty cool. Then if we turn it around, there's definitely nothing back here besides that. Which is supposed to be a bazooka holder. So if, like, Spider-Man webs him out of the mech, then you can, like, this isn't supposed to be here. It'll just whip it out and, bam, Spider-Man gonzos. But, yeah, I'm really proud of it for my first ever mock. I guess. Not mock. But like, build. But then, give me one second. Then, I can attach Spider-Man. Pose him. Which that clip-on actually comes in handy for. Posing him. And the pose he'll probably be on in the shelf. On the shelf. And there we go. Spider Man attached. And the way I attach him is I clip his hand onto that clip. And then I give him that gray piece and attach it right there, cause there's a hole right there. Or blam. And there we go, my custom, amazing Spider-Man mech from a War Machine leftover, which. For the stuff I have in my collection is pretty good. Yeah, at least I only had to use one set, which it was a broken set that I found in my closet. But yeah, I'm probably going to display this guy with my on my Spider Horse section on my shelf. Which I've already told you this, but Spider Horse video coming tomorrow, maybe. Oh yeah. Both of his toes can do this on both feet. If he likes to plant himself into the ground and just go.
Yep. Bye, guys.